Welcome back gamers to the official Cyber Boosting YouTube channel. My name is Sally and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can get your own Euro Truck Simulator server. So let's get started. First, as always, visit our website zapminesourcing.com and login into your Zap account. If you don't have an account yet, you can register here for free. Now navigate to the search bar and search for Euro Truck Simulator. Click on it and then click on the green Start button. Here you can configure a server to your own liking, like server location, RAM, CPU and also IMVP4 is important if you want to protect your server from incoming DDoS attacks. Finally, select the payment method and confirm your order, but before you do that, here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on your swatch and typing ETS minus YouTube. Now open your server in our web interface and wait for the server files to finish downloading. After your server files fully finish downloading, navigate to the settings tab, which can be found right here on the left. Here, feel free to edit the name of your server. For example, I will call my Nelly Trucking. Next, there are a couple of deactivated settings, which can be changed in the configs tab or by pressing the green lock button. For example, let's activate the welcome message by pressing the green lock button and feel free to type anything you want. Next, we can set the password for your server. If you want to make it public, leave the space blank. Also, you can set a couple of game rules like optional mods, collisions at gas stations, AA traffic, damage between players, and so on. For example, let's deactivate optional mods by pressing inactive. Next, we need to set the Steam Web API key. Click on the green link right here and you will be redirected to a Steam page where you will need to log in into your Steam account. After successfully logging in, you must type the Steam app ID for Euro Truck Simulator, which is 227300. In the box, type whatever name you like and then press on Create. You will be prompted with a login token which you need to copy and paste into the Zap interface right here. After the changes, remember to save the settings and restart your server by holding the left mouse click on the Stop button. Once the server comes back online, launch Euro Truck Simulator on your PC. Now create or load an existing profile. Once you're in the pause menu, click on Convoys. Now let's search for your server by typing the server's name. As you can see, the server shows up on the list. If the server doesn't appear in the search bar, you probably have left optional mods enabled. To fix that, click on Advanced Filters. Here you need to check two boxes, Sessions with mods and Sessions with optional mods, and click Apply. Then click on your server and press Join Convoy. Type the password, which is the one you defined earlier, and press Confirm. As you can see, you have now successfully connected to your own Eurotruck Simulator server. Enjoy! That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now, have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on a new Zap server.